In order to calculate how much work is done by the force in moving this object a distance of 8 meters, we simply have to understand that the work done by a force is the integral of that force from some initial position to some final position. Now we can see that the initial position here is 0 and the final position is indeed 8, but we can't really evaluate the integral directly because we don't have the actual force function. We of course have the force graph, but let's recall that an integral is simply the area underneath a curve. So in this case, it would be the area underneath the force curve or the force function. And this is going to be a relatively straightforward area to compute because if we look at it carefully, we can actually break the force curve up into two separate shapes. We would have this shape here, a triangle, and then over here we have a rectangle. And all we have to do is calculate the total area of those two shapes just using some basic principles of geometry. That would give us the area underneath the curve, which in turn would give us the work done in moving the object. So let's start with the triangle. And the triangle would have an area of one half times the base times the height. So we would take one half multiply by the length of the base, which is four meters. We can see from the graph and then multiply that by the height of the triangle, which is measured all the way up here. That would be 30 newtons. And then to that, we're going to add the area of the blue rectangle. And that would just be base times height. We can see that the base from four to eight would have a length of four meters. And then the height of the rectangle is the same as the height of the triangle. It was 30 newtons. And that's all there is to it. We can just pick up our calculator and work this out. And when we do that, we get 180 and the standard unit of work is in joules. So this would be the correct answer to the question.